Hi everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds. I'm a hot mess today because it's been like 85 degrees out out of nowhere and <laughs> I'm sweaty and whatever. I just wanted to show you this haul that I did yesterday, well, this haul from my shopping trip yesterday. I went into Savers just to see if they had their Halloween stuff out and they did, but <laughs> their Halloween section was definitely lacking. Like, usually every year they have, like, three aisles set up. They have tons of, like, thrifted stuff mixed in with their new stuff. Because they sell, like, you know, like brand new costumes and wigs and makeup and whatever. But then they also have, like, a whole section of, like, dresses and all that kind of stuff. So, they have, like, one tiny little rack where there was Halloween stuff. And so I did find two really great things that I paid up for, but the rest of this is not from the Halloween section. But I want to show you first. So this thing, I, I said if this fits me, I'm keeping it. And so I am keeping this first thing. And I wanted to stand up here because it's big. And I, so this is, this is a Renaissance dress. It is very thick velvet. It is heavy. It is by the brand Museum Replicas Limited. It is an extra large. Um, I looked this up on their website and it's going for like $170. It's got like a lace up back. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for like the perfect Ren Faire dress. And this is it. Like this is gorgeous. This was marked at $20. I had 20% off, so I got this for $16, which I think is a steal for myself, for sure. So, but I made a deal with myself that if I save this, I have to get rid of the one that I bought on eBay. So I bought one on eBay that is gorgeous, but it just doesn't fit me. And I was like, well, I can get it altered or whatever. And I'm gonna show you the one I got on eBay. So the one I got on eBay is vintage. And it's also really, really great quality, but it's just too small for me. So this is what it looks like. Also very heavy velvet. Look at the sleeves. They're like to my knee, basically. Um, the company is Masters, Washington, DC. It's, it's beautiful. Like I think that I could sell this for Halloween, so I'm gonna list it like today. It is, yeah, it's this beautiful royal blue, and the inside the sleeves is gold. So, somebody will either want this for Halloween or for Ren Fairs. So, I'm gonna sell that one. I think I paid like $40 for it on eBay. Um, I don't think the person had any sort of um, measurements on it, so. I think they listed it as an extra large. I don't think it's an extra large, but it is gorgeous. So I'm going to sell that one. I'm also going to show you the three things that I got from ThreadUp. So I had a ThreadUp delivery yesterday. It was from Georgia. So I went outside and I like emptied it in the sidewalk and I shook everything out. Because if you haven't heard, some people have been finding bed bugs in their deliveries from Georgia. So I was freaking out. <laughs> Luckily, everything was fine. Nothing in the bag, nothing on the clothes. I looked in the pockets, I looked everywhere before I brought it into my house. So, let me show you what I got. First off, I got this Trip NYC skirt. I don't believe this is vintage, but it is a size 14. And they sell pretty well. Um, this is a brand sold at Hot Topic. Um, the vintage ones can sell up to like 100 bucks, but I'm hoping to get about 50 for this one. Next. So I've been finding a lot of new tags dolls kill items. This is a like embroidered cat like corset crop top. It's by um, Sugar Thrills, which is one of their house brands, Dolls Kill. Uh, it's a size medium. No, it's size small. Um, this is so cute. So they had like an entire outfit up on Dolls, Ki Dolls Kill with like, was this and it had a pair of pants or a skirt and it also a matching purse. But oh my god, if this fit me, I might, I might have tried it on, but I don't know if this would have <laughs> would have worked for me. But this is really cute. 
And then I took a chance on this because I was like, that looks vintage. So this nylon cargo maxi skirt by Doc Martens. And I know Doc Martens only made clothes like this, like in the 90s. And then they made like another, then they did come out with more clothes like later on. But this, I was like, this is definitely a 90s skirt. And like this fashion is coming back so much. Cause like, if you look through the old Delia's catalogs and stuff, everybody's wearing these skirts. <laughs> They're so in right now. So I'm hoping to get a good amount of money for this. Keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> Next, we're back to the haul. The other thing I got in the Halloween section. I could not pass this up. It is gorgeous. I hope you can see its gorgeousness. So this is a velvet. It's a velvet coat. It's like like the it's like a circle skirt basically it's like a dress coat and it's by oh here we go nippon boutique which is Al alfred nippon it was 25 dollars, but i could not pass this up this is like a goth girl's dream right here and it says it's a 14 i haven't tried it on but i don't think it's gonna fit me but it is so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I can just see like a like a witchy goth girl rocking this or goth guy. Honestly. It's it's beautiful. So that. Next I went through the dresses. Um, I found this. This dress is by um Effie's Heart, which is a Mod Cloth brand. It's a pretty popular Mod Cloth brand. Um, the Boutique, this is, so it's brand new with tags. It's called the Brighton Dress. And the Boutique that had it in there apparently was selling it for $106. So maybe I can get about $50 for it. I don't know. We shall see. This is another thing I paid up for because I have a 100% sell-through rate with this brand, and I literally just sold a skirt last week for $68. This is Peruvian Connection. It is a, like, tunic sweater dress, just blue. Um, it is a size large. I think it's... What's it made out of? Well, let's see. It is Pima cotton and nylon, but it's really soft, and it's really well made. So I'm going to shoot for the stars of this. We'll see what happens. This one I was on the fence about. There are two of these listed on Poshmark for $30, but they're like a small and a medium. This is an extra large. This is Anna Sui for um, Urban Outfitters. I did not know that they did a collab. But yeah, this is an extra large. This dress retailed for I think $115, so I'll take a chance on that. This I had to grab because it is gold label, Victoria's Secret. It's got these lace sleeves. No, it's not like the sexy like teddy that I have before, but it's gold label. I did pay more than I wanted to for it, but it's like a midi dress with like the, the lettuce hem, which is pretty pretty in right now. So it's pretty like baby doll looking, very 90s style. This could be like a sort of light grunge or fairy grunge, I guess. So this sweatshirt I almost didn't buy, but then I did like a Google image search on it and there were ones listed for like $80, $90. So I guess this is a pretty new Disney World sweatshirt. And it's got this like, it's like rug, basically. Um, yeah, it's in perfect condition. It's really cute. Mickey Mouse. So, Disney does well. Uh, that's, I got another Disney thing too, let's see. I got these Disney pants, which these said they were sold out. And they have like the little snacks from the park all over them. They're so cute. 
So someone was selling a pair on eBay, I think, for like 60 bucks, but I don't think I'll get that much for them. They are a size medium. They're super cute, though. People love their Mickey Mouse. This might be mine. I wear a lot of Wild Fox, and I found this for a reasonable price. Just got flowers on it, and then the sleeves say, Under the Sun and it is an extra large it's just that like really worn in fabric that they use that's why I wear it because like their stuff is so soft and comfortable and oversized and like oh, and I love yellow so I'm thinking this is this one's for me but there we go this I you will see and know why I had to get this thank you for being a friend Come on, Golden Girls, and this color is great. So I looked it up, and this brand, it's called um, The Shop Forward. So basically they sold these sweatshirts and all the money went to like animal charities for Betty White. So I thought that was really cool. Obviously this is second hand, so that's not gonna happen, but like maybe I should donate part of this for to Betty White's animal funds. That'd be cool. I'm, I'm all about that. Next I just found this like little like pin tuck lace top. It seems to be vintage. I haven't done any research. It's got no tags or anything but this lace is really pretty and it's in perfect condition. Very cottage core. So that. This um, it's just denim jumper like flare at the bottom it is a vintage Gloria Van Gl Ugh. vintage Gloria Vanderbilt <coughs> here is the vintage Gloria Vanderbilt yes I will pay more for vintage Gloria Vanderbilt because it actually sells <laughs> I've sold vintage Gloria Vanderbilt overalls for $50 before so don't write it off but I thought this was really cute with like the little flare and these pockets. No, they're not real pockets. They're fake pockets. Okay. And then last, I picked up this ASOS dress that is technically new with tags. Um, I love this print. It's very like hippie. But it has on the outside the like, don't remove this tag or you can't return it. And that's the only tag on it, but so technically not really new with tags, but new with tags either way I got it because it's a size 14 as well like I think this would look really good on a tall person because <laughs> I love this print but this this style is would not be flattering on me this would eat me alive because I'm only 5'4 and this would be like almost down to my ankles <laughs> but I think someone tall could really pull this off and it's like a very oversized so even somebody that's like 2 or 3x could probably wear this yeah, so I love a good plus size dress. Um, yeah, but that is it. Um, let me know what you think. Am I crazy for buying some of these things? Maybe don't answer that. But anyway, um, subscribe if you're not, and I will have another video soon. Thank you for watching.